So I wanted to do an update to one of my more popular videos, mostly because a lot has changed in the time. I did a video about a year ago focusing on my desk setup, and back then I was still an iPad user, but I had a very different kind of setup than what I have now. So kind of, let's go through a few things. So first off, the most important thing, the desk. The desk has pretty much stayed the same over time. This is the custom built desk that my dad actually built and I absolutely love this thing. It's six feet long, 30 inches wide and 30 inches tall, which seems really big for somebody that, you know, works with an iPad all day and not some multi monitor setup. But what was really handy about this is when it comes to filming these videos, it gives me a lot of places to spread things out and really be able to film stuff and move around and I'm not just subject to a really small area. Of course I'm still using the iPad Pro as my main computer. I'm currently using the iPad Pro second generation 512 gig model. I really like this one because it allows me to save all of my projects locally on the device without really having to worry about any real storage issues. I work with a lot of 4K video and a lot of audio projects, and over time that can really start to take up a ton of space. The iPad sits on a stand, and like everything else, I'll include it in the uh, description below so you can check it out. I really like this stand because it has a wide base. It doesn't wobble. A lot of iPad stands, they're, they're really narrow or they're really small, so they're, they don't really hold the iPad very well. They, they, kinda, they can wobble, the iPad can fall off. They have like weird hinges that don't hold up over time. This particular one, it's, it's all static. It's really well built. It's heavy, so it doesn't like get moved around if you move something or when you tap on the screen. It doesn't you know, turn the iPad in any direction. It's, it's a really nice stand to have. You'll notice I have the USB camera connection kit plugged into the iPad. And this is kind of really the central idea around my whole setup here. So I have the lightning cable plugged in, obviously for charging, but then there's a USB cable uh, plugged in as well. And if we follow that cable, it actually goes below the desk into my cable management racks down there. Now all my cables sit down in these racks so everything's lifted up off the ground and I like it this way so if you're just kind of looking at the desk you don't see it. It's really really kind of a nice clean setup. That USB cable goes into an Anchor USB hub. What's nice about this is it allows me to plug in multiple USB devices to my iPad. So the first one that's plugged in is my Code Mechanical Keyboard. I absolutely love this keyboard. I did a big review on it, so if you're interested in a mechanical keyboard with an iPad, this is one I definitely recommend. Now, I have the one that's without the 10 key list, so it's it, it's just the, the normal keyboard. It doesn't have the, the 10 key on the side. And this is just to kind of keep the profile down and small. I really like the design of this keyboard. The typography is really nice, and the backlighting really makes it beautiful, especially when being shown on video. I use the Cherry MX Blue switches in this keyboard, which makes it really, really nice to type on. It has a good feel and a clicky sound. If you've ever used a mechanical keyboard, you know that's pretty important. The other device that's plugged into the USB hub is my Blue Yeti microphone. And this is what I'm talking to you on now, actually. I really like my Blue Yeti microphone. It's really held up over the years. It has a volume button and a mute button built right into the, uh, the microphone itself, so you don't have to have any extra peripherals or anything on the desk. You can just hit those and they'll change. It also has gain controls as well. This is a really good microphone, especially if you're just starting off. The big major problem with it is it picks up a lot of the room noise and a lot of the echo when you're talking. So I'm probably going to be upgrading this soon, um, but for right now it does a really good job. I did have to put up soundproofing panels because of how loud the microphone is and how much echo it really does pick up. But the soundproofing panels are pretty cheap and they cut down on a ton of noise. Plugged into the Blue Yeti microphone, I have my Audio-Technica ATH M50X headphones. Now, I've had these for a while now, and I really, really like them. They're really comfortable, and honestly, I don't find that many over-the-head headphones that comfortable. But what's nice about these is they're very big, and they're very comfortable, and they have really good padding on them. So you can wear them for a long period of time. I wear these when I'm recording audio, like what I'm doing right now. But I also wear them when I'm just working, too, and they're just my regular headphones. Since they're plugged into the Blue Yeti and the Blue Yeti's plugged into the USB hub and the USB hub is plugged into my iPad, I can just use them as regular headphones. Now this probably isn't the best thing to do. What's nice is I can hit the mute switch so I don't pick up any room noise if I'm just listening to music or a podcast. Like I said, I don't think this is probably the best way to do it. I'm sure there's a lot of technical reasons why this isn't good, but it really works for me and it cuts down on one less cable and it makes the whole setup just a little bit cleaner. 
The other thing that's coming off my iPad stand is another audio cable. Now this audio cable is used for plugging into my edifier speakers. I had these edifier speakers in the last video and they're still really, really good. They're really great as studio monitors and when I'm editing audio or video and I just, you know, I need to take a break from wearing headphones for a little while. They work really well for that. They have very clean, crisp sound. I really like this idea of having this dock for my iPad. When I travel a lot, I do use the Smart Connector keyboard, and that one's really nice for moving around and keeping the iPad portable, where, you know, that's really its main function. But when I want to work at home, when I want to work at my desk, I want to have the best possible peripherals for my device. And that's a mechanical keyboard. That's my Blue Yeti microphone. And the fact that I can plug it all in at once and just use it at any time is really, really nice. And, you know, I was a Mac person for a really long time, so I do realize how ridiculous it sounds like it's nice to be able to plug in multiple devices but the iPad is just it's my home it's where I like doing my work it's it's what feels really comfortable to me so having this kind of setup just works really well and in the future if I want to plug in more devices to my USB hub I can like an SD card reader or an Ethernet plug it's all right there and it'll all work for me a couple other things I'll mention really quickly is I have AirPods, and I really like these. I prefer in-ear headphones. They're just a little lighter and a little more comfortable to use, especially the AirPods because of why they're wireless. And honestly, I didn't think wireless headphones would be that big of a difference, but I don't know if I could go back to regular wired headphones, like especially in-ear ones that aren't like studio headphones. And I, I'm just really, really constantly impressed with AirPods, and I really, really love those devices. I also have an Apple Pencil stand sitting on my desk. This is just handy for when, you know, I'm just working right here. I just leave it right there. I do use the Apple Pencil a lot for navigation and things like that. I'm not so much of an artist. I really couldn't draw to save my life. The Apple Pencil is mostly used for editing video, editing audio, and some navigation things as well. I also have an Ikea Alex drawer that sits to the left of my desk. This is for organizing all my cables and video equipment, and I have a whole drawer dedicated to iPad keyboards, so it's kind of funny. I really, really like this drawer. It's really nice. It kind of cleans everything up, so I don't have stuff sitting on my desk or sitting around my desk. I can just throw everything in there, and it makes everything look a bit cleaner. I also have a couple of lights sitting on my desk. The two lamps that sit on either side have Philips Hue bulbs in them. They're just the plain white bulbs. I don't have any of the color ones on my desk. The, the one color bulb I do have is just a normal LED bulb that I can just change it with any color. I put that there so it kind of just mixes things up and adds a little color to my setup. I also have a white LED light strip sitting on the back side of my desk that just kind of adds a little depth to the desk and just kind of makes things look a little bit nicer. Especially if I'm having to work underneath my desk, it makes it really easy to see what cables and trace cables too. So it kind of has that added benefit. So this is my desk setup. It's As you can kind of see, it's evolved over the last year a lot. I really, really like where it's gone, and I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on it as well. So thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.